So you have a choice of two different tours. Uh, we're going on the astronaut training tour. So we're about ready to get on these trams. It's pouring rain. It wouldn't be fun with Colorado Martini if it wasn't pouring rain. Huh? <laughs> recommended to us is to get on the trams first right when you get here because the lines get really long and that was really good advice so even though it's an ass rain we're still going to get out there so we don't have to wait in line so i'm really excited to see saturn five i like the rain you like the rain we're waiting for to get on uh, it's going to take us out to johnson space center so where all the magic happens um, where you pick up the tram is the actual museum area, so um, you can't walk out there, you have to be crammed out to that area, so we're, I'm really excited, I've waited years and years and years to come here. Trams look like uh, they bought them from Disneyland. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, and I'm also hoping they have bathrooms out there because they had bathrooms right no, before. They don't. <laughs> no, maybe I should go to the bathroom before we got on. I'll wait on it. <laughs> yeah. I know. We get the carbon tiles. of one of the most powerful engines that were ever made that took us to space. And this is just one of the engines behind me. And it's just amazing in its size and glory. I'm at Rocket Park right now. So the tram drops you off in Rocket Park and you get to explore all these great engines and rockets. It's amazing. So I'm so excited in this building. It's the Saturn V. And I have really waited my whole life to see this. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Oh my god. So the Saturn V was made in three stages. So we just walked past the first stage and now we're coming up to the second stage. And they would do drop the back end after it got to a certain altitude to dump all that weight and then this rocket would take its place to push forward and accelerate the rocket through space and then this one would drop and then that was the third stage and so this small little castle right there is where our astronauts would sit right here and then this was their emergency rocket in case something went awry. This is just amazing. I am just in heaven at the moment. The 
just the sheer size of this is amazing. It just, I knew that it was big, but it, you really don't realize how big it really is until you're here. Um, I mean, do not come to Houston or Galveston without coming to the Space Center. It just, it's a marvel. It makes me very proud. At the actual footage, when this separates, the reason that this doesn't fit with this is there's an actual ring that goes right here. Um, and so when you watch the footage of the phases um, falling off, you'll see that there's a ring that falls off and the ring is what this was housed in. Collins um, isolation garment that he wore when he came back to Earth from Apollo 11 because we weren't sure what kind of germs they would bring back so they had to be quarantined. We're looking at simulators for training the astronauts. Engineers. In addition to the activities that you see here, they all work behind the scenes of the pickup truck. Valkyrie, the robot, Cylon. <laughs> I 
As we move into the future, we remember the crews of the Challenger, Columbia, and Apollo 1, and all the talented men and women who have dedicated their lives to America's space program.